Random internet troll, how are you doing? Why am I in my boxes? You don't want to see my ugly body. That's the whole point. And that's why I'm going to keep on doing it. Is this thing on? Welcome back to Big Mouth. And fancy seeing you here. And you are very welcome, my friends. And especially my enemies. I told you we were going to go Love Island mad. And this is the build up for Love Island 2019. But this is going to be a bit of a somber video. I'm going to make a big kind of statement here into what type of person I am. Um, and the type of person is that I am. I don't like people being hung out to dry. So let's talk about Anna Viskilly, right? So Anna Viskilly, right, my mate, she's been posted on Twitter and other social media sites by a lot of people calling out the fact that she's not plus size. Now, I'm so pissed off, so pissed off about this, because so what? So what? This is Love Island. We know the type of people who come onto Love Island. We know the kind of size. This is, look, this isn't Netflix. This isn't Hollywood. These are the type of people they want on the show. And there's nothing wrong with that. And to post pictures of them and say, look at her, she's not plus size. First of all, this this is body shaming of the highest level. Now, Jamil, Jamila Jamil, right, who's an actress, a very good actor, because they like to be called actors, by the way, not actresses, so I made a mistake there. Um, this is what she says after posting three pictures in a row of Anna. She says, the producers of Love Island think this slim woman counts as their new token plus size contestant. Are they drunk? Now, I don't know if ITV said and promised there will be a plus size, more plus, different shapes and sizes on Love Island. And quite frankly, I don't care because that's not what this show is about. So to post a picture of Anna and not even call her by her name, Jamil, right? To call her this woman. She's not this. She's not a woman. She's Anna. She's, she's a woman with a heart and a soul and a personality and feelings. And you putting her up here and saying this woman is a plus size so what so what Jamila so what it doesn't matter if she's not plus size you know what Anna has worked so hard on her body and this is not a way look this ain't a way for thin girl she's worked really hard so she can be proud of what she looks like to be on this show now I think she's always looked great but that's that's my personal opinion People have pride in themselves. I don't go to the gym. I'm proud of what I look like. I know I'm ugly. I know my body's terrible. But that's me. I'm natural, right? I'm El Natural. You know, I'm happy with my life. I'm happy with the response I get from most people. And people who don't like what I look like or what I do can fuck off. But this is despicable, right? And, you know, let's talk about Jamelia Jamil a little bit because she's a very outspoken actor. Nothing wrong with that. She says a lot of great things. She talks about celebrities who try and sell people diets and stuff and how governments and social media sites should be doing something about it. Bravo. You are correct because I am fighting the same fight. But there's a lot of stuff uh, that Jamelia does and says that I don't agree with. And I think if Jamelia thought about this right a little bit deeper, she'd think, how would she like it right? Because let's not, let's not forget her character. On the show I like, she's worn a bikini before, she's pranced around, nothing wrong with that, and that's exactly what Anna is doing here. So if someone said something about your body shape, which is, there's obviously, you know, you look great. Oh, sorry, I'm not supposed to say that, am I? Anyway, you're fit, you're hot, Jamelia, and I wouldn't say no. Sorry about that. That's life. I'm a man, I know, I'm a toxic male. Never mind, right? So basically, right, you've posted a picture of Anna in her bikini you've, and you've said, this woman isn't plus size. First of all, first of all, right, if ITV did promise that and then they put um, Anna up there to say this is our plus size, actually, she's not, you know, look at her. Look at her, right? I think she's curvy. Personally, I love curvy women, but I think we live in a beautiful world full of men and women of different shapes and sizes. And once we start talking about them and their shapes and saying, this woman isn't plus size. It's like you're saying, she's not plus size. This is wrong. No, 
This is the way she looks. She didn't claim, she didn't come on the show and say, hey, look, I'm plus size. But I'm not going to go into anything like if she was used to be whatever size she used to be, right? Because that isn't relevant here and that's her private business. But the point is here, right? These celebrities and all these people who have got, these snobs who have got it in for Love Island, right? Um, uh, uh, they're going to use anything. It's like the suicides, right? I was devastated about the suicides myself. But the main reason, a lot of the reason those people ended their lives is because the public were attacking them on social media. Not because of the show. Now, obviously, Love Island need a better kind of aftercare plan. They do. And that is their fault. And they need to sort that out. And I think they are. They need to be more responsible about the everyday people who are going on their show because they're just not prepared for what they're going to get when they leave the show because they're protected when they're on the show. It's when they leave the show. It's when they leave the show they need some help and they need some advice. And I think that's very important. And I agree with that. But as I say, to come on here and start attacking Anna because she's not plus size. All right, she's not attacking Anna personally, but she's posting her picture up and saying, does this woman look plus size? And you know what? I think it's disgusting. Now, I'm quite happy for people to attack my body and what I look like. I don't get triggered by it. I don't, be, don't get upset because I'm strong enough mentally to deal with it and be proud of what I look like. And I just think there is an agenda against Love Island. There are just certain sections of people in the media, people in the industry that want this show cancelled. And I'm sorry with the count of type of viewership that this show does, um, that's not happening. This show doesn't do anything wrong. Yes, it puts so-called pretty people out there, right, with certain sizes, people who go to the gym. That is what they're trying to present. Look, this is ITV. I'm not saying it's very responsible, but this is what this show is, right? And if that's the kind of show people want to watch, there is a, look, there's a section of the audience, including me, who wants to watch that. Now, I don't watch this show because there's gym bodies about or attracted girls or anything like that. I watch it just like why I watched Big Brother. I love reality TV. I love the car crash element of it. I love the drama. I love the arguments. I don't even watch it to see who's going to get with who. I watch it to find, get to know the characters. Anna is a lovely girl. She deserves better and she doesn't deserve her picture plastered about saying this woman is a plus size. I want you to think about it. Um, Jamil, I want you to really, really uh, think about what you did. And if she saw that, how she would feel. Maybe you're becoming part of the problem and not the solution. And I know you want to be part of the solution. But the problem is a lot of you people in the entertainment industry now just don't get it. You don't dress softly. You get your size 20 boots and you just tread in there without thinking what you're going to do. So think about what you're going to do. So I'm still really pumped for Love Island. I love Love Island. I can't wait for it to start. It's a show that's not going anywhere. And I shall see you next time. Please comment down below. Let me know what you think of this video. And let me know what you want me to talk about Love Island. What do you want me to focus on next time? I'm always hitting the wrong button.